Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333386 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 22nd of october the session will be very interesting so do pay attention till the end so let's start the first news that we are talking about is International Solar Alliance. Let's discuss some basic things about International Solar Alliance that it was started in 2015. It is a joint venture between India and France and the headquarter of this International Solar Alliance is located is in Haryana and that too in Gurugram. Alright, so these are the basic things that you need to know about International Solar Alliance. All right. Then remember, Power and New and Renewable Energy Minister R K Singh has inaugurated the fifth assembly of the International Solar Alliance. All right. India and France have been re-elected as the president and co-president. That means India is the current president and France is the co-president of the International Solar Alliance. All right. Highly important. Then remember, during the 5th assembly of the International Solar Alliance, where did this took place? This was in New Delhi and it was from 17 to 20th of October. You need to remember this also. Alright, in this particular assembly that was the 5th edition, around 109 countries took part in this particular 5th edition assembly of International Solar Alliance. Alright, and the president here is International uh, India and the co-president here will be France. All right. India and France, they are re-elected as the president as well as the co-president of the International Solar Alliance. Highly important friends. All right. Then who is the director general of International Solar Alliance? Ajay Mathur. Then who is the secretariat? Oh, sorry. Where is the headquarter? As I just mentioned, man, here your headquarter is in Gurugram, Haryana. So these are the things that you need to remember about International Solar Alliance. Next is Scott Nathan. All right. Union, uh, United States International Department's Finance Corporation, DFC CEO, Scott Nathan has visited India. This was a three day long visit. It was from 17 to 20th of October. All right. I repeat, as you can see him in the picture, he is Scott Nathan. All right. United States International Development Finance Corporation Chief Executive Officer. Scott Nathan visited India, Mumbai 
that is Maharashtra and New Delhi from 17 to 20th of October. He will visit or his visits was to highlight the private sector development and discuss various opportunities to grow in India. I repeat, as we know, India is growing at a very faster pace as all around the world. We are seeing economies going down their growth in negative. But here India, we are seeing a lot of growth potential in the upcoming future and here only that is the reason he visited India to discuss various private -led sector led development projects and discuss various opportunities to accelerate the economic growth and development in India and also the greater Indo-Pacific region as we know why USA is interested in the Indo-Pacific region because to counter the presence of China in the Indo-Pacific region that is the reason India uh, India and uh, US as well as somewhere India is also interested in this particular Indo-Pacific region. Then remember, US DFC announced a $35 million loan to Credit Access Grameen, which will help around 5 lakh women entrepreneurs to gain access to credit. It has a tenure of 7 years. That means within a span of 7 years, these $35 million will be provided to women entrepreneurs in India. Also, they all, he also signed a $10 million guarantee of a rupee loan to Punjab Renewable Energy Systems Private Limited. Alright, next. Next is Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated AIMS in Bilaspur, Himachal Pradesh. Mark this. Then Gujarat launched Atam Nirbar Gujarat Scheme 2022 for Industries. Nabad sanctioned 222 crore rupees for infrastructure in rural schools in Punjab. NTPC signed a memorandum of understanding with GE Gas Power for hydrogen co-firing in gas turbines. Government raised credit guarantee limit for airline sector. Environment Ministry to set up Cheetah Task Force. Important. Then, Chhattisgarh's Chief Minister Bhupesh Bhagel inaugurated the Chhattisgarh Olympic. Moving on. Center has approved India's first cable come suspension bridge across Krishna River. And can, can you tell me? where is this krishna river located or this bridge particular located remember this bridge will connect telangana and andhra pradesh all right this bridge will connect telangana and andhra pradesh so remember center has approved india's first cable come suspension bridge i repeat cable come suspension bridge that is located across which river it is located across krishna river and it will connect which two states it will connect Telangana and Adhra Pradesh. So the question can be asked to regarding this only that this suspension bridge that is India's first cable come suspension bridge. This will connect which two states it will connect Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Highly important. It is located on which river it is located on Krishna river. Highly important friends. All right. And remember this will be the first of a kind bridge in India and second of its kind in the world. Then Next thing you need to remember regarding this is that this has been built with an outlay of 1082.56 crore rupees and it took around 30 months to completion. All right, highly important. Next. Next, we are talking about some awards. Recipient of the Champions of the Earth Lifetime Achievement Award that is given by UNEP. Who was he? Sir David Attenborough. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky received the John F. Kennedy Profile in the Courage Awards. Highly important. Remember this. National is, and next is NMDC. That is your National Mineral Development Corporation conferred with the Public Relations Award for 2022. That was by Public Relations Society of India. Then Kishore Kumar Das of Bangladesh won the United Kingdom's Commonwealth Point of Light Award. Important. Meghalaya's e-proposal system won the prestigious UN Award for World Summit on the Information Society Forum Prize for 2022. Max Verstappen, Elaine Thompson, Hera, named as the Lord Sportsman uh, and Sports Women of the Year Award. So, Elena was a sports woman and Max Verstappen, who drives for Red Bull, was the sports person or sportsman of the year award. Next, some appointment. Suman K. Berry appointed as the Vice Chairman of Niti Aayog. Important. Vishakha Mulya appointed as the next CEO of Aditya Birla Capital. AP Abdullah Kuti elected Chairperson of the Hajj Committee of India. Ashwin Yadi appointed as the co-chairperson of the UNICEF's UA board. Important. Krishnan Ramanujan appointed as the chairperson of NASCOM. 
ब्रूस देव रॉय इज अपॉइंटेड एज द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ फ्यूचर जनरली इंडिया लाइफ इंश्योरेंस एन चंद्रशेखरन नेम्ड एज द चेयरमैन ऑफ टाटा डिजिटल मूविंग ऑन जिफ्ट सिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल मी वेर इज दिस जिफ्ट सिटी लोकेटेड इट इज लोकेटेड इन गुजरात वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ इट इट इज गुजरात इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंस टेक सिटी सो रिसेंटली जिफ्ट सिटी हैज साइंड अ मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग विद फिनटेक एसोसिएशन ऑफ जापान एंड द रीजन फॉर दिस एम ओ यू वॉज टू प्रमोट इनोवेशन एंड एंटरप्रनोरशिप इन द फिनटेक डोमेन इन इंडिया आई रिपीट जिफ सिटी दैट इज इन गुजरात इन इंडिया हैज रिसेंटली साइन अ मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग विद फिनटेक एसोसिएशन ऑफ जापान एंड द रीजन फॉर दिस एम ओ यू वॉज टू एनहेंस और रीजन ऑफ दिस एम ओ यू वॉज टू प्रमोट द इनोवेशन एंड एंटरप्रनोरशिप इन फिनटेक डोमेन इन इंडिया All right. With the help of this MOU, both the entities will be able to conduct programs that are related to international financial cities that will promote Jif City as a fintech hub in India and exposing young innovators in the fintech domain to opportunities in India and Japan as well. All right. So that means in India and Japan, question can also be asked in this way that India and Japan recently signed an MOU. For what? So this MOU was signed to promote innovation and entrepreneurship in the fintech domain and to promote Jif City as the fintech hub in India. Mark this also. All right. Who is the managing director and group CEO of fintech city? Or that is Jif City. Tapan Ray. And where is the location that this Jif City is located? It is located in Ahmedabad, Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat. Next. NBBL has partnered with KMBL for credit card bill payment via Bharat. बिल पे आई रिपीट एन बी बी एल दैट इज योर एन पी सी आई भारत बिल पे लिमिटेड दिस इज अली ओन सब्सिडरी ऑफ नेशनल पेमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज पार्टनर्ड विद कोटेक महिंद्रा बैंक लिमिटेड टू एनेबल कस्टमर्स टू पे क्रेडिट कार्ड ड्यूज ऑन द भारत बिल पे प्लेटफॉर्म आई रिपीट एन बी बी एल हैज पार्टनर विद के एम बी एल फॉर क्रेडिट कार्ड बिल पेमेंट वाया भारत बिल पे प्लेटफॉर्म हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट दैन रिमेंबर के एम बी एल इज द फर्स्ट प्राइवेट सेक्टर बैंक टू प्रोवाइड सच कार्ड पेमेंट ऑप्शन ऑन भारत बिल पे इको सिस्टम और राइट दैन रिमेंबर द कार्ड विल बी इंट्रोड्यूस इन द क्रेडिट कार्ड बिलर कैटेगरी दैट मीन्स इट विल बी सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ अ क्रेडिट कार्ड मार्क दिस इंपॉर्टेंट एंड टेक अ नोट ऑफ इट और राइट आई वी टॉक अबाउट सम अदर डिटेल्स अबाउट दिस दैट दिस थ्रू दिस पार्टनरशिप कोटेक क्रेडिट कार्ड होल्डर्स विल बी एबल टू पे देयर क्रेडिट कार्ड बिल्स थ्रू देयर भारत बिल पे एनेबल्ड चैनल्स सच एज आई सी आई सी आई बैंक एक्सिस बैंक एच डी एफ सी बैंक एंड गेट इंस्टेंट पेमेंट कन्फर्मेशन ऑल्सो भारत बिल पे इको सिस्टम विल ऑटोमेटिकली रिट्रीव डिटेल्स ऑफ द कस्टमर्स बाई प्रोवाइडिंग द लास्ट फोर डिजिट्स इन द क्रेडिट कार्ड एंड रजिस्टर्ड मोबाइल नंबर भारत बिल पे प्लेटफॉर्म इज अ वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन दैट ऑफर्स रीअकरिंग पेमेंट सर्विसेज टू कस्टमर्स अक्रॉस सेवरल सेगमेंट्स इंक्लूडिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी टेलीकॉम डी टी एच एजुकेशन फीस वाटर लोन रिपेमेंट इंश्योरेंस केबल सब्सक्रिप्शन फीस मोबाइल रिपेयर चार्जेस एंड म्यूनसिपल टैक्सेज एंड मैनी मोर और राइट सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट के एम बी एल दैट इज योर कोटेक महिंद्रा बैंक लिमिटेड हु इज द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर हेयर उदय कोटक Where is the headquarter? It is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. And when was this established? It was established in 2003. Anurag Thakur. He inaugurated water sports center in Himachal Pradesh. Mark this. Then Mumbai airport completely switches to renewable energy. Important news. Home Ministry Amit Shah inaugurated SP conference at Dehradun in Assam. Himachal Pradesh started a new scheme that was HimCat to help the farmers. Odisha's Chief Minister launched football for all program another important thing you need to remember Jyoti Aditya Sindhya inaugurated the fourth Heli India Summit 2020 to mark this also Nitin Gadkari launched Toyota pilot project on flexi fuel strong hybrid electric vehicle we have done this news multiple times i hope now it has been memorized by you then google cloud will get ministry of electronics information and technologies note to partner with public sector firms all right Next, some international news. UNESCO named Guadalajara. I repeat, Guadalajara. UNESCO has named Guadalajara as the World Book Capital for 
भीम यू पी आई हैज बिकेम ऑपरेशनल एट न्यूपे टर्मिनल्स इन यू ए रॉबर्ट गोलोब इलेक्टेड एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्लोवेनिया इंडिया पार्टिसिपेटेड एज द गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर एट द पेरिस बुक फेस्टिवल ऑल्सो इंडियन डेलीगेशन वॉज लेड बाय होम पीयूष गोयल जी एट द वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फॉरम देन ही वॉज द पर्सन हु इनोग्रेटेड द मैंगो फेस्टिवल इन ब्रूसल बेल्जियम द रीजन वॉज टू ऑल्सो प्रोमोट द इंडियन वेराइटी ऑफ मैंगोज इन द इंटरनेशनल मार्केट इन एमुअल मैक्रोन वॉज री इलेक्टेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ फ्रांस राघव चड्डा राधिका गुप्ता वर अमंग द वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फॉरम्स क्लास ऑफ यंग ग्लोबल लीडर्स लिस्ट फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू देन सिप्रीज ट्रेंड इन द वर्ल्ड मिलिट्री एक्सपेंडिचर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन रिपोर्ट वॉज रिलीज दैट वॉज इंडियाज मिलिट्री और दैट सजेस्टेड दैट इंडियाज मिलिट्री स्पेंड इज द थर्ड हाइएस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड एंड इट वॉज टॉप बाय USA so question is or note is that sipri released the report that stated that india is spending the third highest in the world and it was stopped by united states of america next karnataka they launched a sars campaign that was social awareness and action to neutralize pneumonia successfully panchayati raj ministry signed a pact with united nation development program for localization of sustainable development goals and where is the headquarter of united nation development program it is in new york Niti Aayog released a draft battery swapping policy important Niti Aayog also launched a joint statement uh, or signed a statement of intent with UNICEF India on sustainable development goals focusing specially on children Niti Aayog also released a report that stated that India is the country that is spending least on terms of research and development per capita and recently remember then first research and development policy was adopted by which state it was adopted by karnataka or the vice versa the question can be asked that which is the best state in terms of research and development it is karnataka prasar bharti signed an mou with public broadcaster of argentina tamil nadu to observe the minority rights every year from 13th of december this year important india will host the 21st world congress of accounts 2022 highly important where this will be held geo world convention center that was recently launched by reliance geo and it is in mumbai maharashtra palli village became the india's first carbon neutral panchayat important mark this next next we are talking about idbi bank IDBI Bank that is a private sector lender has announced an Amrit Mahotsav fixed deposit scheme and they will provide a rate of 6.9% for a unique period of pocket for 555 days here remember under this Amrit Mahotsav FD scheme the scheme is limited and available for 6.9% for 555 days and remember this 6.9% is basically interest rate for senior citizens and 6.4% to the general public under the Amrit Mahotsav fixed deposit scheme all right and here remember the scheme that was for 500 days and 1100 days has been stopped or discontinued will be from 21st of October and here this under this Amrit Mahotsav FD scheme a scheme for 555 days will be provided under which 6.9% interest for senior citizens and 6.4% for the general public next phone pay phone pay invest 200 million dollar to set up data centers in india important all right recently phone pay private limited that an indian phone pay invested 200 million dollars around 1661 crore rupees for setting up data centers in india phone pay along with entity and dell technologies launched the first data center with cooling technology at navi mumbai maharashtra all right next remember out of this 200 million dollar phone pay has already invested 150 million all right and these investments on data centers are under a regulatory mandate on data localization which prevents any financial sector entity from storing its data overseas all right highly important if we talk about co-founder and chief executive officer of phone pay who he will be samir nigam what will be the headquarter here mumbai maharashtra and when was this established phone pay was established in 2016 next news important news friends take a note of it shivnagar and ajim prem ji are the top philanthropy in the top philanthropy list and who is a philanthropist a person who donates for a better cause for a social cause that is for the education of the lower part of the society that means who cannot afford education 
to providing food and shelter to those people providing healthcare facilities to the people who cannot afford these facilities so that is a person who is doing good job for others all right so shivnather and ajim prem ji has secured the top position in the philanthropy list if we take a data of here you can see shivnather and family are on the top position with 1161 crore rupees as money provided for the poor people ajim prem ji and family donated around Fourth, four hundred eighty-four crore rupees, and you can see following that the third position is Mukesh Ambani and family, then Kumar Mangalam Birla and family, Shushmita and Subroto Bagchi, and so on. All right, but you know on the top, Shiv Nadar and family, and it's followed by Ajim Premji and family. That are the top philanthropists in the India. Next, some sports news. Tamil Nadu won the men's title at the 74th Senior National Basketball Championship. Mark this. New Zealand pacer Hamish Bennett has announced the retirement from all the forms of cricket. Odisha's Chief Minister Navin Patnaik unveiled a logo of 2023 Men's Hockey World Cup. Stefanos Stipas has won the Monte Carlo Masters. Sajan Prakash has won the gold in the men's 20 meter or 200 meter butterfly at the Danish Open swimming. Haryana. won the 12th senior men's national hockey championship important indian grandmaster d gukesh has won the 48th edition of the la roda international open chess tournament sunil kumar arjun halakurki and neeraj has won the bronze medal in the asian wrestling championship also remember if neeraj chopra he is also known as the golden boy and he did not take part into the commonwealth games remember this next udan scheme selected for prime minister's award for excellence public administration for 2020 indusind bank has won the clement model bank award for its enterprise payment hub initiative aima has honored sujit sarkar with the director of the year award important vivek lal ji was selected as the sixth entrepreneur leadership award or for the sixth entrepreneur leadership award very important babita singh was named as the new global peace ambassador for 2022 so these are your important awards next karnataka bank has won the digital transformation award highly important i repeat kbl that is your karnataka bank limited has been awarded with the national digital transformation award and this award is also known as dx award also remember last year also karnataka bank limited has been or has won this particular award that was your dx award or your national digital transformation award this award was presented to them by cc uh, cii that is your confederation of indian industry for best practice in the digital transformation under banking financial service and insurance segment the award recognizes innovative excellence in three basic categories and what are the basic three categories that we are talking about here that is employment engagement operational excellence and customer experience in these three categories this innovative excellence award was provided all right then if we talk about dx award that is also known as the digital transformation award and which which is the bank that has been awarded with the dx award for 2022 it is your karnataka bank limited all right so this award is the ideal platform for organizations that have made outstanding contributions in the digital field to showcase their efforts and achievements dx awards 2022 is the fourth edition of the cii tata communication center for digital transformation dx awards to highlight the impact and the benefits of the digital transformation all right highly important then remember karnataka bank limited launched its transformation journey kbl vikas in 2000 17 all right then if we talk about this bank so you need to remember that in 2021 as well as in 2022 digital transformation award was awarded to which bank it was your karnataka bank limited or dx award was awarded to whom karnataka bank limited then next is 17th edition of pravasi bharatiya divas this will be held in indore in january 2023 google will launch play points in india government will approve india's first suspension bridge across krishna river important jsw steel has joined the united nation global compact initiative for sustainability nagaland's chief minister nephew rio has launched universal health insurance scheme important union minister hardeep singh puri has inaugurated south asian geoscience conference in jaipur 
Haryana has stopped the public affairs index of 2022 mark this and Goa will host the 9th edition of the World Ayurveda Congress and Aryoga Arogya Expo in December 2022 I have all to you all to remember I repeat 9th edition of the World Ayurveda Congress and Arogya Expo in 22 uh, December will be hosted by Goa here only National Museum for Customs and GST is located and remember here only Saujo festival is observed Next senior IAS officer Bharti Das has taken over as the new controller general of accounts of India highly important all right 18th or on 18th of October Bharti Das that she is the 1988 batch Indian civil accounts service officer that ICAS officer she has taken over the charge as the new controller general of accounts highly important friends all right and remember she will be 27th controller general of accounts all right highly important then next news firebolt firebolt is the name of the brand that is uh, it is one of the brand of wearable watches all right it is one of the brand of wearable watches in india as you can see on his hand and vijay devar konda is a very famous actor recently firebolt has appointed vijay devar konda as their brand ambassador mark this highly important all right then apart from the vijay devar konda remember he will be acting against or with kiara advani and kiara advani we know she is also a very famous actor actress then virat kohli and vicky kaushal so these are other personalities who are the brand ambassador of firebolt all right next news CCI has approved the acquisition of equity securities announcing up to 10% in the Yes Bank by Verventa Holdings I repeat CCI has approved the acquisition of equity securities of up to 10% in Yes Bank by Verventa Holdings so remember it was CCI that has approved the following acquisition it was acquisition of equity securities amounting of 10% of the total paid up share capital and voting rights of the yes bank limited by the verventa holdings limited and acquisition of up to 10% of the total paid up share capital and voting rights of the yes bank by ca basku investment so these two investment are important and you need to remember also remember cci has also imposed a penalty of 1330 or 1337 crore rupees on google for anti competitive practice in relation to android mobile phone devices that means because of their google play that is due to which they provide various anti competitive practices that they are indulging due to which or due to which cci has imposed or you can say indian government has improved a penalty of 1337 crore rupees on google all right next news next we are talking about isro and isro has plans to launch chandrayaan 3 mission in its third mission to moon in june next year so question can be asked that chandrayaan 3 mission will be launched in which year it will be launched in june 2023 all right here you can see isro plan to launch the third mission to moon chandrayaan 3 in june 2023 on launch vehicle mark 3 a robust lunar rover all right on board chandrayaan 3 will play a major role in the future interplanetary exploration and we know chandrayaan 2 and its mission or its equipment class has recently detected the presence of what presence of sodium on moon all right and remember chandrayaan 1 chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan 3 or gaganyaan 1 chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan 3 these are the missions of which organization these are the missions of indian space organization all right indian space research organization that is your isro then remember if we talk about chandrayaan 2 the first attempt of india to land rover on the moon failed when the vikram lander on board chandrayaan 2 mission crashed on the surface of the moon on 6th of september 2019 all right then remember pragyan it was the rover of chandrayaan 2 that was destroyed during the vikram lander uh, landing then apart from this if we talk about gaganyaan gaganyaan has is the india's manned mission into space all right it will be the first human flight for india the mission is expected to be launched by the year 2024 in the month of december all right gaganyaan mission we are talking about here now all right so that's all for the uh, particular news friends and who is the chairman of isro s somnath where is the headquarter of isro bangalore karnataka 
मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट न्यूज नेक्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ पिग्मी ग्रास ऑपर दैट वॉज नेम द्राविडिकेरियस एनमलाइका आई रिपीट द्राविडिकेरियस एन अनमलाइसिया इज द नेम ऑफ द न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ द पिग्मी ग्रास ऑपर दैट वॉज नेम्ड आफ्टर द्राविडियन लैंडस्केप आई रिपीट रिसर्चर्स फ्रॉम अन्नमलाई नगर इन चिदम्बरम तमिलनाडु हैज डिस्कवर्ड अ न्यू स्पीशीज दैट वॉज द्राविडियसिस एनमलाइका of pygmy grasshopper and also known as gross locust all right where was this new species of pygmy grasshopper found it was found in tamil nadu and it was named as dravida cris anna malaikia all right this was the name of the new pygmy grasshopper that was found where it was found in tamil nadu moving on global iodine disorders prevention day on 21st of october we observe global iodine disorders prevention day highly important friends take a note of this this day is observed across the globe to create awareness about the importance of iodine an essential micronutrient which is required for normal thyroid function and growth and development if there will be less iodine in our body then we can we can suffer from the a thyroid problem then other thing you need to remember that the recommended daily intake of iodine is around 150 mg per day for most adults next is your police commemoration day police commemoration day or your police martyrs day is annually observed across the globe on 21st of october to remember the sacrifice of the police officers who lost their lives in the line of duty and also to pay tribute to them so remember police commemoration day is observed on 21st of october next some again another important appointments kamlesh neelkant vyas reappointed as the chairman of atomic energy commission for one year robin uthappa appointed as the brand ambassador for karnataka's brain health initiative saurav ganguly also known as the dada all right former indian cricketer appointed as the brand ambassador for lords eastern indian market and he is also the president for bcci Lieutenant General Manoj Pandey appointed as the India's 29th Chief of Army Staff very important question Vikram Dev Dutt appointed as the Chairman and Managing Director of Air India Asset Holding Bimal Kothari appointed as the Chairman of the India Pulses and Gerens Association Satya S Varan appointed as the Wipro's Country Head of India Shanti Sethi appointed as the Kamla Harris Defence Advisor Jaslin Kohli appointed as the Managing Director and CEO of Digit Insurance All right and who is Kamla Harris the Vice President of USA Next news next is India got elected in the 4th UN Economic and Social Council that is your ECOSOC bodies 20th edition of India France joint staff talks were held in Paris Fourth edition of the USA 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue were held in Washington DC. World Bank slashed the global growth rate forecast for 2022 to 3.4 percent that was earlier projected to be 4.1 and now this has been alleged slashed and it is under 2 percent 2 to 2.5 percent something. Then India signed an MOU with Finland to establish virtual network center on quantum computing and recently for quantum computing only. Remember, in this field only, Nobel Prize was presented. Can you name the person who were presented or who were awarded with the Nobel Prize? They are Alan Aspect, John Clauser, and Anton Zellinger. They were awarded recently with the Nobel Prize in Physics for 2022 for quantum physics. All right. Then India signed seven MOUs with Maldives under India Grant Assistance Scheme to implement high impact community development projects. Next is Billiti Electric will set up world's largest electric three-wheeler making plant in Telangana. Telangana or International Financial Service Centers Authority that is your IFSC has signed an MOU with National Insurance Academy. SEBI reconstituted its advisory committee for leveraging regulatory and technology solutions that were headed by Sunil Bajpal ji. Rajasthan became the first state to install the L route server. Shivamogga Airport of Karnataka will be named as after BS Yadirappa. First incredible India International Congress conference will be held in Mumbai. Tripura signed an MOU with Nixi CSC to set up international data center. Mark this. Moving on to BRO. BRO will construct the world's highest tunnel for connecting Himachal Pradesh to Ladakh at Shinkula Pass. La means pass only. Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Center scheme was marked fourth has recently completed four years anniversary. Mark this. Jammu and Kashmir launched a Jan Nigrani app to help people lodge complaints online. India's first portable solar rooftop system was inaugurated in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. 
सुप्रीम कोर्ट री कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड द एक्सपर्ट कमेटी फॉर डेली देहरादून इकोनॉमिक कॉरिडोर एक्सप्रेस वे प्रोजेक्ट दैट विल बी हेडेड बाय चंद्र चंद्रा प्रकाश गोयल जी पीएम मोदी लेड द फाउंडेशन स्टोन फॉर डब्ल्यू एच ओ ग्लोबल सेंटर फॉर ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन एंड वेयर जामनगर गुजरात नेक्स्ट सम नेशनल यूज पीएम डेडिकेटेड के पटेल सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल इन भुज पीएम मोदी आल्सो अनवेल द हंड्रेड एट फील्ड स्टैचू ऑफ लॉर्ड हनुमान एट मोरबी गुजरात स्टैंड सिटिंग स्टैचू ऑफ लॉर्ड बुद्धा एट बोधगया इन बिहार एंड हंड्रेड एंड एट फीट टॉल स्टैचू ऑफ लॉर्ड हनुमान एट मोरबी इन गुजरात गवर्नमेंट सरपास फिजिकली एट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एसेट मॉनिटाइजेशन टारगेट ऑफ नाइन्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज नीति आयोग विल लॉन्च नेशनल डाटा एनालिटिक्स प्रोग्राम दैट इज योर एन डी ए पी इंडिया फर्स्ट इंटरनेट रेडियो फॉर विजुअली चैलेंज पीपल रेडियो अक्ष वॉज लॉन्च एट नागपुर हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज पुडुचेरीज फर्स्ट एवर बीच फेस्टिवल वॉज नेम्ड आई सी पॉन्डे एक्सट्रीम पॉवर्टी इन इंडिया डिक्लाइन बाय 12.3 परसेंट ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ 2011 टू 2019. सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर अ क्विक रिवीजन. इंडिया फ्रांस हैज री इलेक्टेड एज बिन प्रेजिडेंट इंडिया इज द प्रेजिडेंट एंड फ्रांस विल बी द को प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी विजिटेड गुजरात ऑन बिटवीन नाइनटीन टू ट्वेंटी ऑफ अक्टूबर एंड लेट वेरियस स्टोन प्रोजेक्ट स्टोन देयर then us international dfc ceo scott nathan visited in india and to discuss various growth opportunities in the private sector and also the infrastructure opportunities in india in future government of india approved india's first cable cum suspension bridge across krishna river this will be connecting telangana and andhra pradesh and this is the second of its kind in the world jif city and fintech association of japan recently signed a memorandum of understanding nbbl partnered with kmbbl for credit card bill payment via bharat bill pay idbi bank introduced a festive offers on fixed deposit for a limited time period only phone pay invest 200 million dollar to set up data centers in india shivnather topped elgiv huron india philanthropy list for 2022 and reclaimed india's most generous title and ajim prem ji was on the second position karnataka bank has won the DX Award 2022 National Digital Transformation Award. Senior ICS Officer Bharti Das has been become our new Controller General Accounts of India. All right. Then Firebolt has appointed Vijay Devar Konda as their new brand ambassador. Next, CCI has approved the acquisition of various entities and imposes a 3,337 crore rupees monetary penalty on Google. ISRO will launch Chandrayaan 3 next year by June 2023 and Gaganyaan by the year 2024 December. New species of pygmy grasshopper was named Dravidigris anna malakia and it was named after Dravidian landscape. Global iodine deficiency disorders prevention day is observed on 21st of October and police commemoration day is also observed on 21st of October. So that's all for the day, friends. These are your important one-liner questions. Now let's shift to your homework section. First question is: Durgavati Tiger Reserve, which was notified recently, is in which state? This is the newly formed Tiger Reserve. This is in which state? Second, which state is the host of the Indian Urban Housing Conclave 2022? Third, as per the Climate Transparency Report of 2022, which country? was the most affected by the income losses from heat related labor capacity reduction fourth which city is the host of the heads of missions conference organized by the ministry of external affairs fifth which organization developed the indigenous trainer aircraft htt40 which was recently unveiled by dr uh, which was unveiled by which organization so these are your five homework question friends if you find any problem related to these questions just google them and then comment below the answer of these questions if don't cheat don't just find the answers in the comment section and comment below because it won't be giving you any much information related to that particular topic but if you just google them and go through the top pick of that just read a article regarding it then you will be able to see the difference of information gain by copying and by reading yourself all right so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day if you want us to continue watching this we such videos all you have to do is comment below and let us know what are your views on such videos also friends we upload current affairs on daily basis then apart from this weekly current affairs monthly current affairs are also uploaded by us on our youtube channel and not just this friends we also continue uploading the 
टॉपिक वाइज करंट अफेयर्स दिस टॉपिक वाइज करंट अफेयर्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दिस टॉपिक्स कैन बी नेशनल अफेयर्स इंटरनेशनल अफेयर्स स्पोर्ट्स डिफेंस एप्स एंड वेब पोर्टल्स ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वी मेक श्योर दैट दिस टॉपिक्स आर डिलीवर्ड टू यू सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू एंड हैव अस डे दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू इंजॉय द सेशन एंड यू कैन फॉलो अस ऑन द YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is seven six double seven triple three eight six two apart from this friends you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is Affairs Cloud underscore official. In the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@theratofaffairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue